exact lotions. I to call them a lotion is kind of an understatement. These are perfectly targeted and created to give you the softest feet ever. These have been on Oprah's favorites year after year after year. 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. We have all of the fragrances just now back in stock. Typically, the rose and the jasmine were a little bit more expensive than the others. Today, they're all the same lowest price we have ever offered. Normally, see, normally they'd be $65. Every other one, $48 today. Whatever scent you choose is only $26.50. It's the lowest price we've ever offered. So here are the scents you have available. Rose, jasmine, gorgeous, by the way, absolutely beautiful. There you can see we have it in the unscented. That's great because everybody loves that one. Chocolate, that's the one that I love. My husband will give me a foot rub anytime I bring out that chocolate foot nanny lotion. Pumpkin, which is most limited, beautiful. Lavender, eucalyptus for a great wake up in the morning or before a workout, peppermint. We have tea tree, which is also one of Oprah's favorites, and lemon. Now we didn't just stop there, we actually have a set, very, very limited, of the five of Oprah's favorites in travel sizes. This size, this is gonna last you about four to six months if you're using this on the regular. These ones are your travel sizes as well. The five favorites, and these are all of Oprah's favorites. 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, I have a feeling next year we're gonna have to do a, a six piece set, by the way. $33.25 for all of those flavors, I wanna call them, $16.63. But we only have about 270 remaining to go around. We gotta meet the woman herself because I think someone is ready for an old fashioned rub down because that is Gloria's, yeah, her, her, her uh, signature move, one of the things that Oprah doesn't just get a pedicure. Now, Oprah also gets an old fashioned rub down and Gloria Williams is here yes, to show I'm us, here. hey Gloria. I'm here to spank and smooth and soothe. Oh, we better explain that. <laughs> Cause I know that's part of the whole, um, the old fashioned rub down. Who taught you the, the rub down? Um, my mom, my grandmother taught my mother and okay. my mother taught me. All right. And I'm gonna do some buffing too. So I'm gonna need I that cute like little I buffer should, over there. I I'm gonna need like that cute little buffer. Proof. You want me to get this the buffer abs, for you? Absolutely. Uh, All right, we do have the buffers available. We're ready to do some feet I, today. I am Oprah's pedicurist assistant today. I'll get you whatever you need. What else do you need, Gloria? All right, you know what? I'm gonna scoot, uh, I wanna scoot up. I gotta scoot up a chair, right? Can okay. Will you still be able to see? Uh, I want you to be able to see this because this is the old fashioned, old fashioned rub. Right. Well, this is the rescue buffer. Okay. And what I re strongly recommend is, you know, Foot Nanny is just packed with nutrients, the yes. product, the creams. But I always wanted someone to have a little extra buffing there because sometimes you have the little dryness like she does here on a heel and on the, on the uh, ball of her foot. So you take the dry buffer. Before you get in the shower, before you put anything on your, on your feet, uh -huh. you want to take the rescue buffer and you want to start buffing. Now, you may not have dryness, dry patches, you know, that you require buffing. Some of you have nice, pretty ballerina, soft, fluffy feet. Oh, but this is for the I lady know. or the man. <laughs> <laughs> and so you just want to go in the same direction. You know, real simple. You just want to go here. And on one side, is, you see that? Uh-huh. On one side, you have a little coarse. On the other side, you have a smooth. Okay. So I just did a little coarse buff on her feet. That it's really is smooth and now so nice. Nice. So we don't even have to go to get a pedicure. We can do this in the comfort of our own no, home. That's but the rescue you... buffer, by the way, $12.50. Right, and when you get tired, you want to come see a licensed pedicure like me. Oh, yes. But do. between that time, if you're not that girl at that time or in between, you want to do a little foot nanny treatment. Oh, yes. And see that, how smooth it got? Look at that. Oh, smooth wow. as a whistle. Now, that's a, I, I did the one side and then I flipped it over to the other side. Okay, and then you, what you want to do next, do a little more buffing, because I love smoothing. And you want to get into the arch of the foot. You want to make sure you get it really good, right? Mm -hmm. Then from there, I'm going to place this here. What from else can there? I hand you? You got your stuff? No, no I'm good. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. You're doing great. You're good. Um, Tell me about hey, your feet. I got, an, I got a, another job Well, waiting you know, I'm a small business way. owner, and as a small <laughs> business owner, I have to make a fresh batch of products for HSN when I get that call. Or that purchase order, hallelujah. So this is fresh foot cream for us fresh, right when we order it. hot off the batch. Oh my goodness. So then you cleanse, you just wipe your foot off a little bit with a dry towel or you can wet a towel. Okay. Or you can take a bath or shower now. Afterwards, you want to start with your foot cream. Yes. Now one thing I do love to do is layer. 
I strongly recommend you layer ah. with the lavender first. Okay. Because lavender gives your skin a nice, relaxed, soft feeling. Right. You know, it soothes it. It relaxes the tension. It relaxes mm -hmm. you. You're just a home, hard day's work. If you're on your feet, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a police officer, you are a person that stands on your feet. Mm -hmm. When you get home, you want to relax. So I, you, can, you I can experience that scent from here. That's real essential oh, yeah. lavender oil, right? Yes, it's essential oils. Each, oh, yes. each product has its own essential oil that I curated myself. I had to decide which one was the best. So you go with the, la the just a little bit. Mm. And you're just going to start here. You put a little bit at the top, in the middle, and here you go. And you rub. And you rub. And why do we need a foot cream as opposed to just using like hand cream or body cream? Oh, because feet? my foot cream is thicker than a lotion. Ah. It's not thin like a lotion, mm -hmm. and it's not, it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. Right. You feel very moisturized. You see the moisture, but you feel the moisture. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that excess oil. Like when you go to bed at night and you get in the, and you lay on your sheets, yep. you don't have that problem with that. Now, so foot cream is more it, targeted. It feels like it's a little bit more slick almost at yes, first, and then your skin absolutely. drinks it in. So drinks that means you've got a couple, a, a while to be able to give it a massage. Right, and see, I'm still rubbing. Now, you layer with the lavender, remember? Okay. And you can top it off with any one you want. So any, any other of your scent? Favorite. Yes, but I highly recommend starting with the lavender. Okay. And then you top it off. So today, I'm going to let you pick. Well, today it's almost would you like, like a buy to? one, get one. So start with the lavender, and then what do would we you have? Like Ooh, do <gasps> would you like me to do rose? Would you like me to do jasmine? Oh, jasmine. jasmine. You know what? The okay. jasmine just started blooming, and it reminded know, me right. of being oh, home in jasmine. California and the night, night bloom in jasmine. Yes. So we can put lavender and then put Long a floral strokes. over it. Yes, you can do lavender, and then you can put jasmine, peppermint, like at night. Oh, I nice. prefer peppermint or eucalyptus because okay. I'm a, it tingles. I need that little tingle. Yeah, it wakes up your feet. Mm, wake oh, up and relax it some too. Look, so you're going to take a look at the glow on oh her feet. Oh my God, the jasmine smells have, so oh, good. We're having like a little foot party here with today. Foot right? Foot party with the foot okay. nanny. Now that's the jasmine. That sounds like a show to me. Oh, oh. oh it's nice. Same it's amount, delicate. small amount. You can do this like if you have someone at home that is bedridden and they can't really move around. Right. right. I have a brother that's quadriplegic. So I send his nurses, uh, okay. uh, the foot nanny, on a regular basis yeah. so they can make sure they rub. They, they Aww, rub down, too, but it's my nice. way of thanking them. But it's a great way, and he loves it. I bet. You know who else loves it? Who? Oprah. We know. Oprah is on the phone. Welcome to our show, no. Oprah. We're so glad oh, you're calling hey, in. Hey, I'm on the phone watching uh, Gloria, Miss Foot <laughs> Nanny, rub someone else's feet. Mine could use a rub right now, too, I can tell you. <laughs> Did we just make Oprah jealous? Yeah. I don't know if that's ever happened. Okay, I, I'm, I'm having foot envy here watching you guys. Really. I love that. Oprah, what's your favorite, what's your favorite fragrance these well, days? Well, you know, I, 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 I lean toward unscented because I don't like a lot of fragrance, but mm -hmm. um, I live in a place with a lot of eucalyptus trees, and I first told Gloria, that she should actually try the eucalyptus scent, yes, she did. and that she could actually <laughs> go and just uh, get it from my my trees in the backyard. Yes, so eucalyptus did. and eucalyptus with a little lavender, if I want some scent. But mostly I do unscented because I'm not a big fragrance person. But I, what I like about the fragrances are that they're strong enough yet subtle enough mm -hmm. that they don't, you know, if you're if you're mixing it with other things like perfumes or soaps or something. You don't walk into a room and people smell eucalyptus. But for me, it's eucalyptus because it, it smells like clean, green, um, earthy, you know, fresh. Uh, well, and Oprah, you pretty much kind of discovered Gloria and, and introduced her to the world. <laughs> what did you love about foot nanny creams as opposed to anything else that you tried? Well, when I discovered her, she wasn't, she wasn't doing cream. She was just doing feet. She was right. the best oh. pedicurist I'd ever encountered. <laughs> and so when I was in Chicago with Harpo Studios, our team uh, there, over 500 people, voted to have a spa rather than a nursery because in the beginning people were working mm -hmm. so many hours so to be able to come down and get yourself a foot massage or uh, f to get a pedicure or manicure or even massages we had uh, was very um, 
fulfilling for, for a number of people. So I first met her at Harpo Studios when we had our own spa there, and um, she was just doing feed. And I think Gloria had a conversation with Stedman about business <laughs> and making business and improving business, and I think that's where the idea of, of a product actually started, because mm -hmm. I, I then offered Gloria to Stedman to do his feet oh. for either his birthday or Father's his Day birthday. or some occasion. It was his birthday. Was it his birthday? Yep, it was his oh. birthday, March yeah. 6th. And isn't, isn't this where this all started? <laughs> yes. And he said, this this whatever you're putting on my feet, you need to have that for yourself. <laughs> yes. You need to make that yourself. Yes. And so I am job. so proud of her because it just started as an idea while she was doing my feet, Seven's feet, and a couple of other friends that um, I would offer uh, as gifts to them. And everybody was like, oh, my gosh, Gloria. And then one year, my friend, Maria Shriver, for a birthday party, had a birthday party and had Gloria come and do everybody's feet. I mean, she was we a party in Malibu and everybody yeah. just has their shoes off and we're getting our feet done. <laughs> so, and everybody yes. loved, lo loves the creams and uh, Gloria's personality. It's, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm so happy to see her doing so well. And, yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh, she is she is so <laughs> wonderful. Oh, okay. You know, it's fun to have you brag oh. on her because she never says she never tells us any of those stories. Mm -mm. Well, listen, <laughs> I'd have to kill her if she did. <laughs> because oh, you know, someone doing your feet, it's like um, an anesthetic. So it's even it's even more soothing than being in a beauty parlor, you know, because women tell so much to the people who are doing their hair. Nobody nobody calls it parlors anymore, but going to get your hair done, your hairdresser knows so much about your life mm -hmm. because you're so relaxed in the chair. But I have to tell you, when you're getting your feet done, oh my gosh, it's it's like an anesthetic. It's wonderful. I mean, I think being able to do your own feet, which I do my own feet in between visits to Gloria, and um, I usually do them when I'm coming out of the tub, mm -hmm. and I l love the socks. I think I actually had told her, because I would do the creams and then put the socks on, and I said to her one year, Gloria, you need to add socks for yes. Christmas. Oh, um, that's a good yes, idea. She did. Yeah. And of course yeah. I said yes. Yes. That's Okay. That yes, was my course, idea. Yes. I didn't get a cut, but that, that was my idea. I take no percentage for all of my great ideas. Just a freebie for Just your friend, a... Gloria. Yes. I'm speechless. Aww. I'm like, she's telling it all. I'm like, oh, yeah. my God. Aww. Yes, it's true. It's she true. can tell it all. Yeah. Uh, Thank well, you so much. Uh, there's something very intimate about letting my somebody eyelashes. touch your feet. I mean, you know, you really, you know, you know people really well. Oprah, thank you so much for calling in. I just have to say, I've been enjoying all your new foods that are well, in the stores. How fun well, is that? Oh, it's so fun. Have you tried the pizza? I love the pizza. Love it. I can't get enough of it. I'm like, I can eat pizza again. This well, is awesome. Well, so good. I, I, I have to get enough of it because one, one slice is like eight points. But there you go. You can't <laughs> eat a whole pizza. But, right. All right. But we anyway, can make... I think this Thank is a great... You. you know what? I, I When I travel, I carry the... The mini packets of uh, yeah, the travel set. of a foot cream because I like leaving it them in hotels for like the people who oh. are taking care of me in hotels. I like leaving that as like behind is like a small little gift for strangers, and I think it's a wonderful Mother's Day gift. You know, when you just want to add that with a lovely little note, like keep taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. keep standing mm -hmm. strong, mm -hmm. something that you know intimates that you are you know, thinking about that person in a way that you want them to care for themselves. Mm. You don't just give the cream, you give the cream with a note. Oh! <laughs> so meaningful and yes. inspiring. Yes. I Thank you. Wow. Right. Lovely seeing you all. And okay, need my feet done Saturday. See ya. Okay. <laughs> okay. See you Saturday. Thank you for okay, calling bye. in, Oprah. What Thank you. Wow, what's Oprah that? Oh, woo. What? I'm going to faint now. My lashes are wet. All right. <laughs> I have now, I have now lived. Take your shoes uh, that's off, a, Shannon. Take, take my shoes, shoes off. off. I'm done. <laughs> Call it a day. What, you know what? That's such a wonderful, and of course, leave it to Oprah to inspire woo. us to actually not just take care of ourselves with the foot nanny, yes. but to share that love and, and care and self-care for so many people. You know, I'm going to stock her up with the mini sets now, right? I'm going to stock 
stock her up so she can... <laughs> Yes, to be able to share with everybody. We did share. show you that. It's about sharing. Yes, we showed you that, the mini set, by the way. I'm sure after Oprah's call, we probably have zero left, but we may have a few of those five of Oprah's favorites remaining. Um, in the travel sizes, she was saying, mm -hmm. there's still two ounces. It's a lot of great foot nanny cream, and we've been enjoying watching yes, and she, she, you, you know, the lucky model get her and feet the done. And the rose, the rose, when, when I came up with the rose, mm -hmm. she has the most beautiful rose garden. Her roses should win an award. Oh. And I said, she said, oh, you know, um, I brought the rose scent to yes. her, the essential oils. And, you know, I was just excited. Like, oh, my gosh, she wants rose. So I bought, like, five different oils I had curated for her to try. Mm -hmm. And, of course, she picked the one that was, like, $2,000 a gallon. Okay. She's yes. going to taste that one. Absolutely. <laughs> and you don't need a lot. So we stretched it out. So the rose is, yes. I love it. So English rose country rose is, is what she has. Because it's a more expensive essential oil, usually about $65 for one of the jumbo sizes, yes, by the way, a four to six 65. month supply. That's what I sell it for. Retail, 65 Today, $26.50. It's crazy. Cents, the it lowest shouldn't be nothing price left. ever. We haven't had this back since July. No, uh, and the so rose, the rose, there are, there were a few sets, they're probably gone too. There were yep. a few of the sets left, but the rose with that uh, $65, and I see $26.50, uh, no. people, that's mm, a lot. It's and incredible. And people ask that's me, why is the rose off. more? Mm -hmm. They said, why does the rose cost more? I said, because the essential oil is more expensive, and some people right. just can't wrap their brain around it, but certain essential oils cost more than others. Of course. Because it takes more of the plant to pull the essential oil from, right. you know what I mean? It's sure. more, it takes more plant. Mm -hmm. And the plant is a very expensive plant, like jasmine is more, mm -hmm. and, and so is rose. I love that. Well, it was fun to have Oprah call in and share that her own eucalyptus in her home is actually the inspiration for the eucalyptus scent. And then to hear Gloria that Oprah's rose garden is actually the inspiration for the rose scent. English oil. country rose. English country rose. <laughs> you have to say it like that. $26.50, yeah. lowest price you've ever seen on a big full size, four to six month supply. We are selling out very quickly though. So unscented, as Oprah said, one of her favorite to wear is just about sold out. Pumpkin, just mm -hmm. about sold out. One other scent, I couldn't remember, peppermint, I believe, is peppermint. Uh, so unscented and, pun and pumpkin vanilla and oh. jasmine is nearly sold out as Now, pumpkin vanilla is well. like a sweet potato pie in a jar. Ooh, it is sweet. Oh, my goodness. I love the sweets. If you, if you want someone in your life to give you a foot massage, get the chocolate. That's my suggestion because that's the one my husband will be like, this is nice. Right, like, and try to move, like spank him. Right? Spank him a little bit, Shannon. Spank oh. him, see the spank? Okay. You're stimulating that circulation. So I have to give him one too. Yes. All right. Give All right. Him